Now, we have the author of A New Breed, Satellite Terrorism in America. He's a medical doctor, anesthesiologist, also has a degree in biology and science uh, from the University of Texas. And he's also, again, an author, satweapons.com. And, and I was told by Dr. Bob Bowman before he died, he's been on air about this, that they were working on systems, basically a radiation gun that could target and hit somebody, and you die six months later. You know, you get real sick but not know what happened. And, and you know, basically high-powered, uh, nuclear-powered uh, uh, microwaves. So, so we know this is going on. We're not saying everybody that, 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 that you know, thinks this is happening, it's really happening. Okay, but the point is this stuff exists, and we're going to break her with us for the balance of the hour, Dr. John Hall of San Antonio. You got like two minutes till we go to break. What do you think, knowing what you ran into and what your book's about with this with your patients and friends and people and thinking it wasn't true because I've seen you on news in San Antonio and then discovering stuff, what does this look to you with, with this constellation of info we've got with this uh, Alexis guy? Well, you know, knowing that the government wants uh, gun control, uh, and then seeing some of the other things that have come out recently, um, like you said, you know, you can't discount mental illness, you know, especially being a physician, you've got to recognize that schizophrenics exist. For one, he's a little old to just all of a sudden go schizophrenic. Typically, Bingo. Yeah, typically. 34? Typically, it's like in your teens. 18 to 28. Yeah, 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 typically. So acute schizophrenia on somebody at his age now, uh, he worked in a field where he worked with these types of exotic weapons. Um, like on NBC, they, they mentioned the etching on his shotgun. They mentioned it as cryptic etching that said, my ELF weapon. Well, it wasn't cryptic to him. He's worked in this field. So he knew exactly what he was being targeted with. The voices he was hearing didn't tell him to go run amok at the Navy Yard. He went to where he perceived the, the weapons coming from. Ooh, that's a good point as a theory. They were programming him for a mass shooting, so he went to them. Exactly. You know, having worked with a lot of these victims that are hearing voices that are being put into their head, not from schizophrenia, most of them kind of have an idea of where it's coming from. Some of them are wrong because the technology is meant to foster a wrong belief, make you think it's you know, your relatives or your parents or you know, your work. When in, in reality, at least from what we found with counter surveillance in San Antonio, it's usually a private investigative group made up of former federal employees. Yeah, that's why you've been on the news. You guys have actually caught people before in the act. Exactly. Wow. Oh, man, I tell you. And, and, and so you've got uh, over a million private contractors operating domestically just in, just in PSYOPs, they admit. There's too many clearances out there. Too many clearances. Uh, and, you know, looking at mind control technology, they've always contracted it out. It's never done directly by the CIA, not since the 60s. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, we'll be right back with the doctor. This is powerful info. He'll have the floor. The Alex Jones Channel is the official page of the Info War. But don't miss what's happening on our other channels. The Info Warrior, with the week's best videos. Prison Planet Live, where Paul Joseph Watson gives his expert analysis. And keep up with the rest of the Info Wars crew on our other pages. All of our videos are available to repost for educational purposes. See the sidebar of the Alex Jones channel for the subscription links. And remember, you can always find our videos in the highest quality by becoming a member of PrisonPlanet.tv. My friends, 15 years ago in Los Angeles and Tokyo, I know because we got the director of the company on, it was in the news, WashTech, they had Coke machines, soft drink machines that would beam audio to your middle ear that nobody else could hear. Now they have it, like out of Minority Report, where you walk by and because of Facebook, the billboard in Times Square, this has been out for four years, knows who you are, three years, face scans and then makes announcements to your name what you're doing. Here's Wired Magazine today. Transfer a secret audio message by poking someone with your finger. Wired Magazine. And these are these systems that have been patented since the 50s. It's way more, way more advanced. And they have digital data transfer over power lines now where they admit all the new appliances are designed to spy on you, the CIA director said. So, so this is going on. The question is how many people are schizophrenic that come to you well, well, get into what you discovered, the private investigators they're using, uh, how it's subcontracted, and who they're targeting. Well, you know, the uh, girl came to me uh, complaining that she was hearing voices, that she was being followed, uh, being targeted. Uh, 
knew her well, knew the family, knew there was no history of mental illness, uh, knew there wasn't a drug problem or alcohol problem, uh, had heard a little bit about this technology before. So gave her the benefit of the doubt and actually spent some money. Uh, we um, audio bugged her condominium, uh, had people you know following her to see if she was being followed. And indeed, the people following her, including myself, were followed uh, to and from her, her condo and to my home. Uh, it, we got the plate numbers of the people doing the stalking. It all came back to a former FBI guy running a private investigative group. Uh, it, so seeing that we couldn't get anything done. By the way, you're not just saying this. This is on the San Antonio TV. This, is, this has been national yeah, news. Yeah, and the book's been out since 06. Most of this happened prior to 06. That's right. I mean, and, and now you found the network nationwide, but go ahead. But uh, So we go to the police, and the police at the time, Texas had different stalking laws. As you know, our stalking laws have changed. If you notice the same person following you now, you can actually get a restraining order against them. At that time, you had to show injury. Uh, no, I know, because I went to court over it. The guy was threatening to even kill my sister, and they wouldn't do anything. No, it, I finally got him, though. You've got, yeah, you've get, you, at that time, you had to show injury. And she had been injured because she had been actually been drugged and sexually assaulted. But with Rohypnol, she didn't have any memory of the culprits. So we uh, audio bugged her place, caught them breaking into her place, caught them putting Rohypnol in the water. Um, basically, the police said, this guy's former FBI. He stalks people for a living. She doesn't have any recall of the rape, and there's no way we're going to get a stalking charge. That was why I decided to write the book to basically put it out there that this technology does exist. But, but I mean, uh, obviously, if they've got access to high-level government stuff, the question is, why are they doing it? Or is it, what's the uh, point? You know, from after the book came out, and now after talking to about five or 6,000 other victims and uh, globally and here, uh, it appears to be experimental. You know, we both live in Texas. As you know, guns and taxes won't control everybody especially in Texas, you know, you and I can, you know, we can, you know, skin a deer, we can run a trout line, we can get water out of a well, you know, you can live off the land and, and not be controlled with taxes. Electromagnetic weaponry, just as Persinger said 15 years ago, he could control every brain on the planet with microwaves. That's right. For those that don't know, tell people about the Pentagon. They're, they're, they're public about this. Yeah, you know, they're very public about it. That uh, the, It's found, been found out that the brain is very susceptible to elf waves, to microwave energy. In fact, that's the Pentagon paper. The uh, brain has no firewall. The brain has no firewall. Uh, you can put voices in the head. For those of you listening that think that's an impossibility, go to audiospotlight.com. You can purchase a unit yourself to put voices in somebody's head. Uh, that, oh, no, Ventura didn't believe it till they got one and did it. He's like, what the? I mean, <laughs> it, you know, there are several ways to do that. Um, this guy, this new shooter, he, um, you know, he worked in that field. Uh, the fact that he put that, that as, in, as NBC said, that cryptic message that they couldn't understand what he meant by my elf weapon. Well, he understood it. That's why he, you know, he went to where he perceived the voices as coming from is why he went there. This wasn't voices telling him or subliminally controlling him to go amok, I don't believe, at least based on my... Oh, experience. listen, he could have been a schizophrenic, except they opened all the doors for him. I mean, you've got a high security clearance, and you're calling the cops four times and showing up saying the government's after me? You're going to the funny farm. Your clearance is yanked. Well, and if I you, mean, they definitely... And if you remember from the early MK Ultra studies, you know, the known mentally ill were experimented on more than the, the sane. Well, and then, and then they threw army officers out of windows, Olson and others. I mean, yeah. And I think this is basically a, a, a continuation of MK Ultra because, you know, MK Ultra ended with the Rockefeller Commission, um, supposedly, but all that ended was the freedom of information. You know, all they did is, is make it all more black. And then as uh, technology advanced, you know, and they found out that, oh, my gosh, the brain is very susceptible to, especially the temporal lobes, to microwave energy and various radio frequencies. All it did is take the lab out of the lab and into society. You know, it can all be done remotely now where we're all in the lab. That's right. We're all in a giant electromagnetic prison, and they admit they're putting carrier waves over the cell phone, all of it. So, so there's one wave for your phone to work, but they're putting other information over that wave. It's incredible. InfoWarsStore.com a conscious and involved distributor of independently made products that support a healthy and aware community. Dive into cleaner waters with your own ProPure system and Pro1D filter. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. We've handpicked a veritable treasure trove of the best non-GMO seed banks on the market. And our selection of films showcases a wealth of knowledge 
outdone only by our books. Check for combo packs to multiply your savings. Wear your colors proudly with one of these conversation starters. Now available in pink. Get prepared and fund the revolution at InfoWarsStore.com. I am your host, Alex Jones, and we are joined by best-selling author, Dr. John Hall. He's in studio. And what's freaking me out is reading his book and researching this technology. This stuff all exists. The question is, how advanced is it? How many people are just going crazy because of the electromagnetic pollution? A lot of big mainline studies showing that. Uh, we know mental illness is way up. A lot of that's chemicals. But there are definitely people that have been hit with microwave guns. Uh, a lot of famous people. In fact, it was an Iran-Contra whistleblower we've interviewed. Uh, we need to get him back on. His name's escaping me in a minute. He's the a weather weapons expert, too. The first guy I ever talked about it. It'll, it'll pop my head in a minute. The point is... Uh, is that uh, they just drove by his house, shot him with a microwave gun, and literally his shoulder blew up. Uh, and, and this was in the 90s. Okay, so uh, Bob Fletcher. Bob Fletcher. Uh, I mean, there's a reason. I know all these Army intelligence people. I know colonels, generals. They won't even go out of their house without disguises on. And they're not crazy. I mean, I mean, they, uh, the people that have been around this real stuff and aren't evil, they are completely freaked out. And... Uh, you know, it's stuff like throwing little tablets of a radioactive isotope in your car. You die a year later, don't know why they remove them. I mean, all this has come out. They've got guns that shoot an ice dart into you that's then got cyanide that's designed to precipitate out so the coroner can't find it. You're a doctor, you know about that. This has been a congressional testimony. Uh, taking little foster kids in the 60s and 70s and programming them to be new people. That's History Channel. You know, so, so that's all the ancient stuff, but let's get into all the stuff you're telling me during the breaks, your sources, the info, how advanced it is, Dr. John Hall, the book, A New Breed, Satellite Terrorism in America, and of course, the uh, website is satweapons.com, satweapons.com, we've got links to it up on infowars.com and prisonplanet.com, uh, please, uh, Break it down. Well, and, and actually, I've got another website, too, that's uh, www.newbreedmovie.com, believe it or not. Uh, there's a screenplay written on that book now, which will hopefully do some good educating people about this. You know, for years, everyone has thought that the brain's too complex. Uh, that there's no way you'll ever control people. You can't you do mind control. The brain's too complex to be controlled. And the fact is that it's just simply not, uh, especially when they started working with uh, various frequencies, uh, elf waves and microwaves. It turns out that the brain is actually very easy to manipulate. Um, and like you said, it goes back as far as the 60s and 70s. You see um, Malik's uh, invention from 74 hit the brain with two dissimilar frequencies. It spits out an interference frequency. You can actually decode the EEG from that interference frequency. And it was initially invented as a way to uh, watch pilots so you would know when they fall asleep or when they start. They just sleeping. announced Toyota. You're going to turn your car on with a brainwave. Exactly. Uh, and we've even got toys out now. Uh, two Was it two years ago? Um, Mattel came out with a toy where you control a little ball rolling around on a on a, a bed of fans with your mind, and that's an elf wave based toy. It's elf waves generated from your mind that you're controlling a ball remotely with. So, I mean, it, the technology is really not that far fetched, and especially now when uh, with Snowden's release and you see the NSA, you know, what all of us already knew, especially you and I, that yeah, our cell phones and our text messages and our emails are being are being watched. And the IRS is targeting libertarians and conservatives and harassing them and arresting them. They are authoritarians. Yeah. So I mean, when you look at that, it's not too far of a stretch to go. Well, if you're going to watch everybody, then you have to exert some form of control. Uh, and like I you know, like I said, you know, guns and taxes don't control everybody. Electromagnetics do control everybody. No one's immune from that, and there's no escaping it. Um, so, you know, when you see the things happening, like happened with the shooter, you know, what, when it happened with the shooter up in Colorado at the movie theater, when it happened with the shooter at Sandy Hook, I mean, how long is the major media going to keep, you know, hearing? And again, stories? he had an Air Force colonel who'd been over a whole base in San Antonio, a psychiatrist assigned pretty much to him. And they declared national security on his folders and stuff. And he said in the jail cell, I'm under mind control, help me. And then they said he was never in a cell with people, but it turns out he was. I mean, it's, just, it's the same M.O. over and over again. Yep, and, you know, if you look back at the research on it in the early studies, it started with MKUltra and targeting individuals. Um, then it seems like they went into group research type study. You see uh, the Heavens, the People's Temple with Jim Jones. You see Heaven's Gate. Um, 
a lot of people allege that... Oh, Jim Jones was CIA. That came out. Exactly. And that the CIA actually creates these cult groups so they have a captive population. Well, that's their front. Yeah, to test, test this kind of type of technology and mind control on a group. Well, now the group is society. They know they can work it in a small group. They know they can control an individual. Now they need to control society and the world at large. And if you, for people who don't believe it, we've got early affidavits, five prisoners from the Utah State Prison who described accurately being put in cells, having electromagnetic energy placed in those cells that was so intense that they couldn't stand up. Um, several of them even said that, that they could tell that they were hearing voices in their heads of the perpetrators of the people doing the research and that they could tell that the voices were responding to their thoughts. You know, some of them thought it was sub-vocalization, that they were just responding. But really, they've got a computer reading it out the other side. Keep going. You well, know, exactly. And like I said, some of them thought it was sub-vocalization. You know, we have uh, technology now where they can put a monitor on your throat, pick up the nerve transmissions from your auditory center of the brain to the larynx. And for people that uh, you know have been had their arms blown off in war, can control a phone or can control a computer or control an apparatus by speech. Well, it's not really speech that they're picking up. It's the electric transmission coming from the auditory center um, or the, yeah, the auditory center to the larynx. Um, this technology, at least based on some of the people I know, connections that I have that worked on it, uh, is actually using, you know, the brain. The, all of this manipulation is being done at the brain level. Um, and then you have this, uh, this shooter who also was on trazodone. Uh, an SSRI, and that's been pretty well shown that the trazodone and the SSRIs, people are killing themselves at a record rate on those medications. So he may or may not have had a, a schizophrenic issue, but I think he definitely had a targeting issue. When you were saying that, I just remembered this from like 14 years ago. It's in some of my police state films. If you type in shomer-tech.com, and we have it on screen for TV viewers, radio listeners can go check it out. It's law enforcement and military supply. I was mailed by a jail guard, a federal prison guard, to my office, a big, thick Shomer Tech uh, uh, catalog at the time. And in it, they had the, the sonic nauseator and the supersonic nauseator. Guys, search that on the site for me. Sonic nauseator, supersonic nauseator. But I was pulling it up to go back to my memory. And the guy called in. He said, I'm going to mail this to you. You'll see. But we, we just do it for fun. We turn it on, it makes them all sick for hours, they vomit. And I got it open, and I called the company, and we even bought one and showed it on television. In fact, I've got it somewhere in the warehouse now that I just remembered. A little machine that if you turn it on, makes you start vomiting within about 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. And it said it's great to go to political rallies of people you don't like. You can make them sick and stop their First Amendment. That's what the catalog said. I haven't read the new one. And then it said, or want to make everybody sick on the cell block? Here's the big one. Yeah, there it is, the sonic nausea. And then they have the supersonic nauseator. See, there's mind control right there. So open, it's sold in a weapons catalog. Well, in Los Angeles and the prison system, now they're also using a millimeter wave weapon uh, that they have mounted in the top of the, um, the break room. And it's a guard with a joystick in the control room that when a prisoner gets out of line, you can zap them with a millimeter wave and burn their skin to get them to back off or get them to do what you want. Smaller unit than what they have on the backs of Humvees. Exactly. No, a lot smaller. Um, you know, the directed energy, as, as a matter of fact, uh, El Spectador out of Columbia, which is a big news agency down there, um, came to me about a year ago now. Um, Vladimir Putin came out in one of his comments and said that whichever country controls the best directed energy weapons will control the world without missiles or bullets. Uh, he went on to refer to a, a new wave weapon they have that they call a zombie gun that basically controls your mind. I saw that, yeah. Um, none of our major media here... By the way, I've talked to high-level military. They say those zombie guns are already deployed on Humvees in every major city. Well, and if you look back at uh, the uh, first Desert uh, Desert Storm war, there the was... The Iraqis were terrified. They just came out even when they hadn't been bombed. Yeah, yeah well, and there was one uh, scenario. I, I talked to an Iraqi soldier uh, if, that was there at that war. There was a, a Humvee that came out that witnesses said lightning bolts came out of the Humvee and struck a personnel carrier carrying insurgents. The personnel carrier was shrunk down to the size of a Volkswagen bug, and the bodies of the insurgents were shrunk down to about 18 inches long. 
were completely dehydrated. Oh yeah, actually, I saw the photos of that. The, uh, they look like a little little roasted dolls. Actually, they had, they declassified that last year. Guys, type in uh, Pentagon comes out with a plasma beam, and it shows it blowing a car up. And that's reportedly it shrivels them, and, and it's not like a movie where it shrinks and it's okay. It, like <laughs> it's, it's it's like yeah, toast it. Well, and the body's you know mostly water, so any type of weapon like that that's going to you know instantly dehydrate you is 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 going to shrink you down. Um, you know what I had about this interview? Everything you're talking about, I've separately is open source. So, so how bad is it? And 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 so I guess it's government contracts to private agencies, private contractors to just go out, and now they're doing a mass test before the final rollout. I guess that's what it appears to be. And um, most of the cases I've talked to in victims, it is usually a private investigator who used to be a CIA agent or used to be a federal agent that's been allowed access to this technology. Now I have had a number of whistleblowers. Uh, come to me asking for advice that probably are being directly harassed by a by a government agency. Um, that's the rarity. You know, most of the people I'm dealing with that are com voicing these complaints are housewives. Most seventy percent of the victims are women. Uh, well, it's always like that in testing. They go after the weakest first as a beta before they hit real targets. It appears that each one of these groups in every major city that's been given access to this technology can use it carte blanche, however they want to use it. The group in San Antonio is mostly for sexual assault. Um, as I told you on our break, there's a, a group of 60 gay men in Palm Springs. They're all hearing the same voice, the voice of a, a lady named Lisa. At the same time, they're being uh, persecuted by her um, verbally. They're being attacked with directed energy weapons, burns on the skin, twitching, heart palpitations, headaches, you know, blurred vision. That's uh, very noticeably coming from the outside. Uh, I mean, the chances of 60 people all hearing the same voice, that's not schizophrenia. That's that's experimentation uh, until proven. Well, they do it as groups to then test the interaction to see how when they now want to target the targeted group later from the research, these are scientists, then the groups they're allowing to use this clearly are there just to get the raw data for the big scientific brains back at headquarters studying it. Well, that's exactly right. When you... When you have a, a different perpetrator group in every major city being allowed carte blanche to use it however they want to use it. Matter of fact, some of this is hired out. Uh, I know the, the uh, former FBI guy in San Antonio, if you want to make your spouse look crazy during a divorce um, to kind of point the, the proceedings down one direction, you can hire him to do that. If you want to hire him for cor corporate espionage, you can hire him. Well, they that. say on these law enforcement things that that's what it's for. They say you want to mess up an event. Nobody, you want to mess up a political speech. Just take this. And then, but when you, like you said, though, when you look at it at the very top level, and that's what I have a hard time getting through to the victims. They all think they're being victimized. Look, it says, still says, mess up speeches and demonstrations and crowd dynamics. Yeah, a major law enforcement uh, site selling it. Well, and you know, these people, a lot of them, all think that they're being directly harassed by a CIA agent. And that's not the case in most instances. I, I think it's usually a contract. Here's an example. I live out in the country. I've got satellite internet. The, the, uh, that's just a little dish. It's going to space. It's the same deal. But you, you, you told me you talked to people in San Antonio and the government, and they, it's, the, it's the data over power line is what I've been told they can really use this stuff for. Yeah, you can listen to the insides of a home with the, with the power lines. I talk to connections that I have that are uh, in our city public service, controls the, um, the electric power in San Antonio. They actually talk to each other via the power line. You can hook up to a power line, talk from one station. To, and I'm not talking just data. I'm talking, you know, vocal, you know, Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Um, they can communicate to each other over the power line. It's electricity. It's basically fiber optic. Exactly. Electricity, speed of light. And when I talked to him, I said, well, what about listening inside a home? He did say that the FBI occasionally does come to them with a warrant to be able to listen into a home through the power lines. Uh, explained to me that the little, the little circular hole in your, in your power um, plug that we all refer to as a ground is not actually a ground. It's a return. And if you look at the power lines on the, on the poles, you'll have two uppers and one lower. The one lower is the return. And it can be adjusted to where the grid in your home actually picks up your spoken word and it returns to the return for anybody to listen to. Well, by the way, they're now actually rolling out communication systems in, I think it's New York and um, Minnesota, a, a town. They're, they've gotten a federal grant, I saw it like last year, to actually communicate over their power lines. So they're actually now rolling it out. And, and for the people who think that, that satellite can't uh, actually produce microwave energy down to the ground through the atmosphere... There's actually plans in order that I've seen uh, where they talk about using satellite-based microwave weapons 
to warm neighborhoods or warm households to avoid the use of um, oil-based uh, or carbon-based energy. Yeah, Bill Gates is big in that. And satellites to help steer hurricanes away from people. And or, or toward people. Well, see, <laughs> exactly. That's so expensive, though. It's the blimps. Alexander Haig, before he died, well, he died recently, but uh, actually he had a TV show when I was in high school, my last year in high school, 1992, and I would watch Alexander Haig, because I like C-SPAN and stuff, but it was like on some other cable channel. And it was the Alexander Haig news brief or something, folks. Go to his Wikipedia. I bet it's got Alexander Haig's TV show. So we ought to dig these up. He admitted everything would be blimps. He had the company. He said that there would be a national security force and every town would have blimps, even small ones over it, that were solar powered during the day. And that then you would have microwaves uh, to spy on people for their safety, of course, and all the rest of this. And how ground penetrating radar to look through your walls. And now they're launching all this. And, and it's all designed for control. Well, I'm just saying they can put a lot more cheaply on these. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, you know, the satellite, you know, we're launching reconnaissance satellites and surveillance satellites, you know, every couple of weeks. There's a ton of them up there. And I know when I talk to the victims, they say, well, is it one or two or two or three? It's thousands of reconnaissance satellites that are up there. And the other question that a lot of victims will get is, well, how is somebody spending this kind of money to follow you, to watch you all the time? And actually, most investigators will tell you satellite surveillance is the cheapest way, you know, to track somebody. The satellites are already up there. Our tax dollars launched them. Um, all you sure, sure. But I'm just saying launching more of them, they're going towards blimps. Yeah. You can put them at 100,000 feet. People hardly see them. Yeah. Yeah. And they could just have huge arrays on the bottom. Yeah. And, and, they're, and like you said, they're solar powered. You know, they stay, they're powered forever. It's, it's amazing. Right there. Wow, so so where is it all going? We're, we're coming back with the final segment. You're going to be on the nightly news. We're going to tape it and air it next week uh, so we don't just you know, waste it all here today. But what are we going to talk about when we come back in the final six-minute segment? Well, probably since uh, you know, we just had this development with this shooter, probably some, some reasons why maybe that's being done. And again, people say, hey, he was just crazy is why he thought they were using ELF waves. He worked in secret weapon systems. He had a clearance. He clearly would have had it pulled. They ordered a stand-down, folks. I mean, it just goes on, the timing, all of it. But I didn't think of what you said. I, that really makes sense that they were probably trying to program him to go do something else. And he said, no, I'll come back and go after you. In fact, that's basically what he was saying. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. There was another Navy veteran that I covered earlier in the show, Larry Ashbrook, who neighbors saw being drug away by Navy vans, and he said he was under mind control, begged police for help, then he went into a Baptist church and shot a whole bunch of people, killing eight of them. And then now we've got this gentleman uh, hailing out of the DFW uh, area. Uh, again, th if there are mind control programs, you have to look, it could be a mind control program. And then they let him in, they let him do this, what are your final points? You're making the Mars rover point to me. You were making the point about how uh, it's satellite and, and other systems, but they'll be on the scene so they can triangulate with GPS. Yeah, well, there's multiple systems that can do it. Uh, you know, Gwen Towers have been mentioned. Um, cell phone towers have been mentioned. The sources that I had uh, within the government uh, specifically talked about the capabilities of satellite, which is why the book's um, titled as it is. Uh, HARP uh, is another one. It all seems to be geared at just you know multimodal ways to influence control over large populations. Um, as far as the both of these last shooters, they're both from Fort Worth. Um, I know for a fact that uh, the people we identified using this technology in San Antonio also have a branch of their private investigative group that works out of Fort Worth. 
uh, and they use the technology that puts voices in the head and uh, there's multiple ways to do it and and it works fairly well if i put a voice in your head that's me that's harassment and i think that's what this uh and by the way it's come out on the news you know who you're saying is doing this is former fbi guy have they threatened you have they come after you have they said we're gonna they, they they did at first you know when i first tried to get them in trouble with the uh with the police they did i had some break-ins i had some gunshots fired through the house um had the bolts taken out of the hood latch to my truck hood flew up on me going down the highway so um they did their best to try to get rid of me and it not look straight up like a murder um, but like you said earlier in the show, you know, when you know you're on the side of right, you know, you have that, uh, that grace of God, I guess, with you uh, when you know you're doing the right thing. And the right thing's not always the easiest thing. Like I told you, I never in a million years planned on being the, uh, one of the spearheads. Hey, you were telling me that during the break. How did you it just like, wow, it just got, and now you've learned more and more about it. Well, uh, after the book came out and I had, you know, thousands of other victims come forward and say, thank you for putting a book out on it and, and using whatever, you know, cred that I have with having a couple of initials behind my name. Not that that's any big thing, but uh, um, the one thing that uh, I was happy that the book did is I had a lot of families call me and say, you know what, we have a son that's been complaining about hearing voices and complaining of, you know, government surveillance. Uh, we've had him to five different psychiatrists. They've shocked him. They've had him on meds. It never goes away. Now we have a little better understanding about maybe what he's dealing with. You know, and if that had only happened once, it would have been worth having wrote the book. And it's happened hundreds of times um, where people have actually, you know, let psychiatrists do electroconvulsive therapy on loved ones that were voicing these complaints. Now we're kind of going toward an educational campaign. Uh, we need to educate at least local psychiatrists. Now at the top of the psychiatric chain, uh, Canadian uh, Psychiatric Association, the American Psychiatric Association, they know very well what these weapons are. Oh, they're the people running it. Uh, yeah, they're the ones who started a lot of the MK Ultra programs that have advanced to where we're at now. Now, at the local level where you're being maybe mandated to see a psychiatrist, they probably are largely ignorant of the technology. But unfortunately, no matter how much proof these victims put in front of psychiatrists, they're not looking at anything. Well, that's the question. How do you tell, because you've always been contacted by real schizophrenics then, how do you tell somebody who's crazy versus somebody who well the bottom line is schizophrenia usually starts at an early age you don't most of the victims that i'm talking to can can pinpoint the time their stalking started and their hearing voices started and typically it's late 30s early 40s you just don't see that with schizophrenia schizophrenia uh, is usually 18 to 28 in a male it can be a little bit later uh, in a female so now what's happening is a lot of these victims are being um, diagnosed with delusional disorder or psychosis otherwise specified which means you've got something going on and we don't know what it is. On top of that, the medications won't treat this. Uh, and I've talked to several physicians that have been targeted um, with this type of technology. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Judge, what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infoworth.com. <yeah. laughs> All right, final segment with the author of A New Breed, Satellite Terrorism in America, Dr. John Hall. And what's frustrating is, you know, you get death threats, stuff like that. They do psych warfare stuff like wait till something bad's happening in your life. Somebody's in the hospital and then... They call up, you know, and right after you talk to somebody and say, oh, I hope your such and such dies. I've had that stuff. Uh, I know that they sell in law enforcement publications stuff to make everybody nauseated or disrupt people. Um, that's an ultra low frequency wave. And I, I mean, I just remembered that 15 years ago, searched it and was it still the same write up. I mean, they're not even for, I mean, it's amazing that this is going on. And as you mentioned, I'd tell people 10 years ago, they're going to roll out, or more than 10 years ago, Humvees with microwave guns. They'd say, that's never going to happen. Here's the Department of Defense. Now it's just, oh, all our towns have them. When the Tea Party comes out for a peaceful demonstration, the, the Marines are there and aiming at us if we cause a problem. They're just getting us used to all this, getting the military accustomed to it. Closing comments, doctor. Well, in, in that same vein, you remember they, they did roll out the LRAD unit. 
Uh, for the Tea Party. For the tea, and, and at and L.A. and at, uh, what was it, the, one of the G20s. Yeah. Um, to use the LRA, which is, by definition, a directed energy weapon. It's an acoustic weapon, but it's a directed energy weapon nonetheless. Um, well, but it's not just the sound one. They also have a microwave one. Yeah, and that one burns you, you know, and, yeah. and a millimeter wave weapon. Um, that's, all of this is just geared at being able to control us uh, remotely. Um, and that's one of the reasons that uh, we're trying to educate psychiatrists uh, at the ground floor level, that that not everybody that comes in voicing complaints of being watched and hearing voices, you can't just give them a turnkey schizophrenia or delusional disorder diagnosis anymore. You have to really kind of listen to them and see what they're you know, what they have going on. And in the case I did with the girl that I wrote about in the book, gave her the benefit of the doubt uh, and did some counter surveillance, and indeed uh, she was being um, targeted, being stalked, being drugged, and uh, being sexually assaulted. So. That's one thing. I'm, most uh, psychologists and psychiatrists probably won't go that extra mile. Um, that's also why we're doing a movie on the book, not a documentary, but an actual drama based on a true story, uh, hoping that we'll uh, expose a bunch of people that have never heard about this technology to it. As you know, you can make a documentary. You're only going to get a certain subset of the population to watch it, and you can it can be as scientifically packed as, as you can can get it. Yeah, no, people like to watch stuff, not read it. Yeah. And, and Dr. Nick Megich, as I'm sure you know, in the mid-90s, he went to the EU and presented them documents, and they go, no, we know, and they actually outlawed all this. So this is outlawed in the EU, and we're signatories of treaties on all this, but we only hear about chemical weapons and biological weapons, radiological and conventional. What about the psi weapons? And we know the Russians, the Pentagon, they've been obsessed with it forever. They, and they make movies like, oh, men who stare at ghosts to make a joke out of it. Colonel Alexander's actually, you know, that character's in the movie. This is real. It's, it's not a joke. We're not talking about, uh, oh, it's just so frustrating. Yeah, Colonel Alexander and I actually have communicated via email uh, early on in my fight against this. He told me that I should tell the victims, the, the alleged victims of this technology to run, not walk to the nearest mental facility. Um, so, you know, that's a pretty much a direct denial from, uh, at least Colonel John Alexander. Um, and as far as the EU, yes, you know, he did manage to get some of that uh, made illegal in the EU. It's still unfortunately going on right now through one of the organizations that I'm with, isaact.org. We are working in Belgium uh, with victims there. We are, uh, we're allowed to go over there with victims and use a Faraday cage uh, to do some scanning with some of the victims that appear to be chipped uh, and did some great studies in a Faraday cage where we put... Victims that are hearing voices and claiming to be chipped next to a control uh, who's never complained to this. The victim was positive for transmissions. The control was not in a Faraday cage. Interesting. What does that mean? A uh, Faraday cage is a cage that... No, I know what it is, but... It well, it, it, it means that the, these people are transmitting, and some of them are chipped. Um, some of the chips can be as, as simple as a Vera chip. Well, they have bio chips that are actually liquid now, too. And they're coming out with all the pills that are going to have tracker chips in them. All right, amazing, Doctor. We're going to have you back on the news. Thank you, sir. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.